So a special program known as Microsoft Research Fellow has been launched by Microsoft. This is a program that was launched every year. पहले इसको research internship के नाम पे बोला जाता था. They have made it as a research fellow program. In this video, we are going to discuss about what this program is, how can you participate, whether you are eligible, and how can you make your chances of selection better in this particular program. So watch this video till the end. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. बहुत सारा ऐसा कंटेंट इस चैनल में तुम्हें मिलेगा जो तुम्हारी करियर जर्नी में तुम्हें हेल्प करेगा। तो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्च फेलो बेसिकली एक वन टू टू ईयर प्रोग्राम एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट रिसर्च इंडिया इट्स अ सेपरेट डिवीजन फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आईडीसी तो ये पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च डिवीजन क्या काम करती है बहुत सारी नई नई टेक्नोलॉजीज पे काम करती है बीट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बीट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम बीट मल्टीपल मतलब बहुत सारे ऐसे रिसर्च फोकस एरियाज पे काम करती है जो आने वाले फ्यूचर की टेक्नोलॉजी को स्टडी करते हैं दे बिल्ड अपॉन समथिंग तो इस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम में दे वॉन्ट सम फ्रेश टैलेंट जो नए आइडियाज लेके आए जो रिसर्च बैकग्राउंड से आए एंड प्रोवाइड देम विद चांस टू वर्क एट सच आ स्केल तो इसमें एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया क्या अगर तुम रिसेंटली ग्रेजुएट हुआ अगर इफ यू आर पास आउट ऑफ 2023 बैच या फिर तुम अभी कॉलेज में हो अभी फाइनल ईयर में हो तो तुम इसमें पार्ट ले सकते हो तुम इसके लिए एलिजिबल हो इसमें दो टाइप से पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते हैं सबसे पहले तो एक एप्लीकेशन है जिसका लिंक मैं नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में दूंगा यू जस्ट नीड टू गो एंड अपलाई फॉर द सेम दो चीजें हैं एक तो तुम्हें उनकी वेबसाइट पे अप्लाई करना है एक देयर इज एन इंटरेस्ट फॉर्म यू नीड टू फिल दैट इंटरेस्ट फॉर्म सो आफ्टर डूइंग दिस यू आर एप्लीकेशन इज सक्सेसफुली सबमिटेड सेकंड चीज है कि यार तुम्हारा कॉलेज तुम्हें नॉमिनेट कर सकता है अगर तुमने अपने कॉलेज में कुछ ऐसा काम किया है बीट सम रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड पेपर लिखा है या समथिंग दैट यू हैव डन दैट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर्स तो तुम अपने कॉलेज के एचओडी या फिर अपने मतलब अपने डिपार्टमेंट के एचओडी या फिर अपने कॉलेज के डायरेक्टर को बोल के अपने आप को नॉमिनेट भी करवा सकते हो पर कॉलेज तीन स्टूडेंट्स नॉमिनेट हो गए एंड इफ यू आर नॉमिनेटेड तुम्हारे चांसेस ज्यादा बन जाते हैं तुम्हारा स्क्रीनिंग प्रोसेस इजीली कवर हो जाएगा एंड यू विल गेट अ चांस टू इंटरव्यू फॉर द रोल तो दिस इज बेटर अगर तुम्हें लगता है कि यू हैव डन समथिंग रियली गुड एंड तुम इसके लिए एलिजिबल हो तो जाके अपने एचओडी या फिर डायरेक्टर को कन्विंस करो एंड उनको एक नॉमिनेशन फॉर्म दो जिसका लिंक मैं नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूंगा उस नॉमिनेशन फॉर्म को भरो उसको मतलब अपने ये डायरेक्टर या फिर एचओडी के थ्रू स्टैम्प करवाओ एंड देन यू नीड टू सेंड इट वाई नॉमिनेशन फॉर्म तो योर चांसेस ऑफ स्क्रीनिंग वुड बी बेटर ऑल्सो इनके डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स होते हैं टू शॉर्टलेस कैंडिडेट्स लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर रिसर्च इंटर्न के लिए इन्होंने एक स्पेशल चीज भेजी थी आई आई शेयर दैट वीडियो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो अगर वो मुझे मिला तो तो यू कैन गेट एन आइडिया की किस टाइप पे वैल्यूशन प्रोसेस हो सकता है बाकी इस वीडियो में हम बहुत सारी चीजें डील में डिस्कस करेंगे तो वॉच इट टिल द एंड स्क्रीन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट रिसर्च फेलो इट्स टू इयर्स प्रोग्राम मतलब इट्स वन प्लस वन ईयर प्रोग्राम वन ईयर यू वर्क एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट रिसर्च यू लर्न थिंग्स एंड वन ईयर मोर कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम इट्स बेसिकली टू इयर्स प्रोग्राम दैट इज देर एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इट्स नॉट अ परमानेंट जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बट येस यू कैन से इट्स अ प्री बिल्ड फॉर योर मास्टर्स और पी एच डी लाइक इफ यू आर वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन रिसर्च यू वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू मास्टर्स यू वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू पी एच डी सो Before your masters and PhD, this can be a very good addition to your masters and PhD theory thesis, right? So this is something that you can try on. So we'll talk about what all things are there. So what exactly do you do? You may do industrial research or you may do academic research in this particular uh, program. So industrial research, when I say you might be working with some of the product teams in Microsoft, you might be working in with some of the research teams in Microsoft. Some of you might be working upon an existing product. Some of you might be working upon a new product. new product i would say new product ki research from the very starting so this is an overall context of what you will be doing when you when i say research there are multiple different topics that uh, come into picture right it can be machine learning it can be systems in general it can be operating system it can be anything that microsoft is currently working upon and it aligns with your interest so that both of you are mutually beneficial to each other so this is the aim and idea behind this particular program chance to go for a phd where the most of the students who uh, go through this program they they first of all they save a lot of money along with that they have some hands on experience they do some good research then they can go for their phd and they can excel every year around 50 students are selected matlab maybe if the applications are more they might select more so, but the hiring the competition the program is very very selective salary that you get is salary is similar to what a microsoft sd gets in india so salary this is not a lot of issue you get a very very good uh, salary now application process is currently open and who all are eligible batch of 2023 pass outs are eligible so for this there will be two things in the application first of all you need to fill a form uh, i'll link in the description the form that you can that you need to fill in that form there are two major things one is sop sop stands for statement of purpose and second thing is lor that is letter of recommendation when i say sop so sop is something that is very important that will tell the company that why you want to get into research what's the thesis that you are interested in and whether that thesis aligns with their 
core principles, core computer science uh, things that they are working upon, right? So in that SOP, you need to write your area of research. You need to mention why you are interested, which all projects you have done, or something that can change the world. How how it can change the world? How it, it can create an impact all across uh, society, across academia, across industry. So that is something that they are looking forward to in your SOP. So make sure you frame it up in such a way that it looks good, right? So there can be different different topics. It can be machine learning, computer science, fundamentals, research, emerging markets, systems, multiple different things. When I say systems, there can be networking, there can be OS, there can be any topic of research related to computer science is something that they're looking forward to. And if you have some prior background of research, then you are already a candidate with a plus point. So definitely you should go ahead for this particular thing. For this particular program, good CGPA is also a very, very a good plus point and if you have done some research paper if you have presented some paper or posted in a presentation in a in a in a conference then that your chances of getting selected are more as compared to anyone else right second thing is letter of recommendation from academia you need to get a letter of recommendation from your college faculty from anyone who with whom you have done some project one, if you have not done some project, you can get an LOR from your assistant professor, from your professor of college, anyone whom you feel like could give you that letter of recommendation in which they should mention that you have done some projects with them, you have worked with them, they should show that you are a hard working candidate. So that is something that is expected out of that, right? Now, how to prepare for this particular competition? So first thing is your fundamentals of software, fundamentals of computer science should be very, very strong. Secondly, your basic area of interest that you mentioned in your SOP, you should have some background of that, you should have some context of that and you should be able to uh, like uh, uh, convince the interviewer that you are very interested in this particular technology. So this is basically what should be. we'll talk about the interview pattern also. There are generally two rounds to three rounds. So what is asked in those two, three rounds, it's basically an open ended uh, question that you'll get. You might get somebody who's asking you data structural algorithms again here, similar to what an SD interview at Microsoft looks like. If not data structural algorithms, what else can be asked? There can be general design problems, how you design a particular system, low level design of a system or in general design of a system based upon your preference in SOP. Then some domain specific questions, if you have good interest in core mathematics, statistics, then also you are a candidate that can be taken into consideration. So now if you are new to this channel, make sure you do like this video and subscribe to this channel because I keep coming up with more such amazing content ahead. Now, what's the difference between this SD role and this RF research fellow role? So you generally see that uh, SD role is given by Microsoft IDC, India Development Center, and research role is given by Microsoft Research. So it's uh, not a full-time role. First of all, you just need to be there for two years. And after that, you can go for your master's or maybe you can go into industry only in a research role. Secondly, basically SD develops products it's more of a hardcore coding job whereas in the research role you might not be developing projects exactly but it's basically an independent research or a research with a group of friends or with a group of team so what exactly you'll be doing you'll be improving systems you'll be uh, getting new problems to work upon and you may start your new research problem so basically it is more research oriented whereas in that software engineering role you need to develop products right so i give the link in the description for this particular so i give the link in the description for microsoft research fellow anyone who is graduating by summer 2023 you are eligible to apply make sure you do apply for this program it's a very great opportunity for anyone who is interested in research share it with your friends do let them know that such an opportunity exists and let's make this accessible to each and every one of you. so that was it for this particular video i hope you people like this amazing video see you in some other video till then all the best good luck bye